Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Musical America's Musician of the Year, Ricardo Muti. Thank you for your wonderful words. It's very difficult for me to say something because everybody before me was so full of humor and uh, spoke a beautiful, beautiful English with different accents, of course. Thank you, Maestro. I'm always nice to singers, you know. <laughs> it's, it's my specialty. <laughs> but I was thinking. You know, tonight uh, uh, the awards were received by very distinguished, wonderful artists, and I was thinking, a composer that writes music. So, the maestro spoke about uh, uh, fantasy, but in the end it's concrete, because the notes exist on the paper. So he does something concrete. Then. Uh, a fantastic violinist, he plays the violin, he produces the sound. A wonderful singer produces the sound singing. A wonderful pianist that plays the keyboard. So I was thinking, what really I do? <laughs> so I was starting to become depressed. <laughs> I've wasted the entire life. <laughs> so doing but then as I said to Peter Davis, a phrase came to my mind. My teacher, I had a great teachers in Italy, great teachers. And my teacher of conducting was uh, Antonino Votto. He was the first assistant of Toscanini in the 20s in La Scala, the golden period of La Scala, and you can find many of his records with Callas, Tebaldi, etc. And he was the teacher of uh, conducting in uh, Milano, in the Conservatorio of Milano. And coming from the Toscanini school, he was very basic, to the point. So when we asked questions about how to do this or to do that, he always said, why you worry? You don't have to play. Just do this, something will happen. <laughs> In fact, uh, a few uh, weeks ago, uh, I had a conversation with a, a policeman. No, no. The <laughs> conversation, not... Uh, so, so see, he, and uh, so we were speaking about uh, how life is difficult today, you know, the, the crisis, this and that. And uh, he said, you know, I have uh, 1,200 uh, euros uh, per month, I have uh, several children, this and that. I said, don't, you know, don't worry. If you want to change your life, and I want to help you, you know, I want to help you because you are such a nice guy, you come to my house, and in uh, three minutes, I will teach you how to conduct the Unfinished Symphony of Schubert. <laughs> he said, uh, what is that? I said, that, that, that's, it's not important what is that. That's not important. He said, and you will earn in one evening more than you earn in, uh, uh, in a year. So I said, how is that? I said, it's, you know, the first movement is in three. That means one, two, don't forget to move the arm on the, the right part of the top. One, two, three. And so you will see, if you do this, they will start. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Then, when the orchestra stops, that means that the first movement is over. 
then in that moment, what you do? In that moment, you know, the public, you know, s sometimes we, we hear some delicate cough in the, <laughs> in the intervals, in the, in the pause, you know? So, and pianissimo, and the, the first mode of so then you stop. In that moment, you, you try to look very inspired. <laughs> you know, don't look at the orchestra because you can meet some eyes that are looking at you in a very strange way. <laughs> so, just look in the, in the sky. You know, and sometimes uh, the, the audience is very affected by this, you know, it's just what you see. He's dreaming about certain, and you look. At, then when you see that this, the players uh, are ready, because they put their instruments uh, uh, ready, then you put your hands and do exactly, exactly what you did before. <laughs> Don't forget to move the second, uh, and so will be. Plum, 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 trim, plum. It starts the second movement of the symphony. Fortunately, it's only two movements. When they stop, you stop. <laughs> then you turn, you take your applause, and then you take the check, and you see, and that is. This is what is about conducting. <laughs> so that's it. But, also, in the same time, a phrase of Vittorio Gui. Vittorio Gui was the famous uh, founder of the Maggio Musicale in Florence. It was a sort of uh, the same period of Toscanini. Actually, they were enemies. And uh, bravo who? Toscanini or Gui? <laughs> so he, he said to me when he was 90 years old and I was 27 years old, he said to me, Muti, what a pity to be near to death just now that I was learning how to conduct. And that meant, he meant not to beat time, but uh, to get from the souls of the musicians the music, the feelings, the feelings, not the notes. The notes are the, the concrete expressions of the feelings. And that is something that makes the conducting the most difficult profession in the world because we have an idea that has to be expressed through the arms and then has to go through the instruments that are played by the fingers or the mouth of players and go to the public. So it's too long way. To be time is very easy. Anybody can do, anybody, to make music is very, very difficult. Now everybody is thinking in this room. What do you think is, what is your position? Which part? <laughs> I think that I am in the middle of the road. And I'm sure that I will never get to the other part of the river. Because uh, behind the notes lies the infinite. That means God, and we are too small in front of God. <laughs>